Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from Northlight Images, and in this short video, I'm going to talk about the perils of buying sample packs of paper when you buy a new printer. Now, this is in direct response to a question I'm very often asked, say, people, I've got a new printer, I want to get some sample packs of brand XYZ because people have said these are good papers, etc., etc., or I've seen them, or just, you know, I think I ought to try different papers. This is for when you get a new printer, and I'm going to assume it's a printer you may not have much experience of using before. Now, the example here, this is a Canon Pro 300. It's a, an update to the old Pro 10. Um, I've covered reviews of this and others. And this is typical of the sort of printer that somebody says, well, I've got this printer, must I use Canon papers with it? And what's the best paper for it? Well, the best paper is the paper that you think looks best for your photos and gives the results that you like. Of course, that's not really an answer because, well, I'm gonna say there isn't one. There is no such thing as best, really. There's a paper that you like and a paper that does the job that you want. Now, one of the things is people think, oh, well, you know, if I get a new printer, I'll use a Canon paper. So when I got this one, this is uh, Canon's uh, Pro Platinum. It's a glossy paper. And I did indeed do some testing with that particular paper when I tried the, paper, the printer out and for the review. Now, if you look at the review, I've got lots of other papers I've tested. But the first papers I always use on a new printer are OEM, or Original Equipment Manufacturer. So that's Canon papers in a Canon printer, Epson papers in an Epson printer. Um, why do I use these? Well, I know they would have been tested with the printer. I know that there is likely ICC profiles, and these are uh, ways of producing better quality color images sometimes black and white, but certainly color images, um, I know that these papers have been tested. So get some original equipment manufacturer OEM paper, so Canon paper in this instance, doesn't need to be big sheets like this. You can do this testing on A4 and learn to use the printer. Because the real problem is that if I take a, a paper that's, let's say a paper I've used for 15 years, I know it inside out, I use it on another printer, I've used it for prints. I get a brand new printer to test. Do I try that paper? Absolutely not. I will probably include it in my testing at a later stage, but I want to actually find out how the printer works first. I need a real understanding of how the printer handles colors, how it handles surface reflection, all kinds of stuff. And by sticking to OEM papers to start with, I get a handle on that. I do not need quite such a huge range of printing skills to be able to test it. It's also why I recommend it to other people. Test images. The very first images I test a printer with uh, this is a color print, and this is a color test image. There are others available. These are available for download on the Northlight Images website if you're curious. Here's a specialist black and white test image that I've created. That's got an article, it's got some videos about using it as well. But these images, why use these? Because these images have been produced specifically to show up potential problems with papers, printers, inks, and generally for testing. So I always use these first. Problem if I get a sample pack, well, how do I know the quality with that print? I don't. Let's say I get a sample pack of paper. Somebody says, oh, this particular brand of paper is really good. You'll hear this all the time on, uh, on forums. People never define really good, but yeah, they'll say, they were, yeah, these papers are really good. You get this bit of paper. You get it in a sample pack. Let's say you also get an ICC profile for it. Well, that's good. You do a print and it doesn't look quite right. Now, without the experience of using the printer, do you know that the reason that print doesn't look right? Have you just got some settings wrong? Have you got something wrong on the computer side, um, the driver? Have you edited the image correctly? And when it comes down to it, is it a good enough image? You've no way of knowing 
to start with whether the rubbish print is because it's a rubbish printer, and I'm going to say that's very rare these days, or basically because your photography is no good. Now, before you think I'm having a dig at people, I include myself in that. That's why I won't use my images to start with. Once I'm happy I understand the printer, by all means, I've got the printer to test my own and print my own images. But I have the experience of using the printer to know that if something comes out wrong, that it's some setting that I've got wrong or something else, it's not the, the printer's fault. And it very rarely is the printer's fault. Um, I cover this in a lot of reviews about testing and that. But if I'd say one thing to people, they buy a new printer, great. Please don't rush out and get loads and loads of sample packs of paper and just run them through the machine and just look at the prints and go, oh, which looks best? Um, yeah, utterly hopeless. Your chances of picking a best paper from a process like that are minimal. Now, the test images. So color image, I want to use a profile. A black and white image, Depending on the printer, I may use the black and white print mode of the printer driver, or I may use a profile. Without some testing, you have no way of knowing which is which. And I'll leave with just one point. Some papers just don't work with some printers. Doesn't matter how good they are in other printers, there is some papers just don't work. If You've just got one of those in a sample pack and you get a print comes out and it looks wrong. You could waste an awful lot of paper because somebody's told you that's a good paper. If it doesn't work for your printer, it doesn't work with your printer. Move on, try something else. Anyway, I hope that's of some use. So it's a question I'm asked an awful lot. And I'll just say, please don't rush out and buy those sample packs or well, you might be getting them for free, but you know, even then, if you've got some sample packs, hold off using them until you actually know how to use the printer properly. But anyway, I've got lots more articles and videos on topics like this. Please do subscribe to the channel if you find it useful. And uh, please ask questions because it was somebody's question this morning that reminded me to cover this topic. So thank you.